So it's been two weeks since the transphobic social media obsessed Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has made any posts on Twitter which is very weird if you know about her activity on Twitter. Now, she went silent a couple of days before Variety reported that she'd been named in a lawsuit filed by Algerian Olympic gold medalist Imani Khalif after Rowling helped to spearhead a global harassment campaign against her with tweets like this, where she says, quote, could any picture sum up our new men's rights movement better? The smirk of a male who knows he's being protected by a misogynist sporting establishment enjoying the distress of a woman he's just punched in the head and whose life's ambition he just shattered. Now, as you all know by now, Imani Khalif is a cis woman and lies people like J.K. Rowling spread about her incited harassment against her and caused a great deal of mental pain and anguish as explained by her coach. But to make matters even worse, a week after her initial tweets about Khalif, J.K. Rowling would not stop tweeting about Khalif and kept retweeting people who were insisting that she was a man, even though she almost certainly knew by that point that that was a lie. But after compulsively tweeting about trans people for nearly two years, every single day, now JK Rowling has gone radio silent and she hasn't said anything for two weeks. Now, nobody knows if this is because of the lawsuit, but her silence is pretty conspicuous. Furthermore, this viral tweet from Travis Akers points out the fact that she's been silent and has deleted 27 tweets since being named in Imani Khalif's lawsuit. Now, I looked at her stats on Social Blade, and it is true that she's deleted a bunch of tweets. I actually counted 34 in total, and as you can see on the right column, each day she's deleted anywhere between one and eight tweets, and in the middle column, you can see that she's been unfollowing and following new people, even though she hasn't been posting anything. So even though she hasn't said anything in two weeks, she's still there. She's lurking, which is odd for her. Now, the problem is we don't know what tweets she's deleted because Social Blade just gives us the raw number and not specific tweets. But I will say that her tweets about Imani Khalif have not been deleted. Those are all still up. So I can't confirm that she's deleting transphobic tweets or deleting tweets because of the lawsuit that she was named in. You know, for all we know, she could be deleting those tweets and taking a break from Twitter for an entirely different reason. But since this behavior is so uncharacteristic of her, a lot of people online have assumed that her activity on Twitter or lack thereof is because of this lawsuit. And I think that that's a reasonable assumption. But again, we don't know that. With that being said, I have enjoyed the responses from people who are clowning on her because they think that she's feeling the heat after fucking around and finding out. For example, Stephanie Sterling writes, after years of abusing libel laws to bully critics into silence, it's delicious that her own libelous antics are what's got her scrambling in a dumbass way that admits guilt no less. Now, they're assuming, like a lot of people, that Rowling deleted the tweets about Khalif. But again, those are tweets that are still up. They're not the ones that she deleted. Nonetheless, if the silence is due to Khalif's lawsuit, Sterling is right to feel shot in Freud because they've been covering her transphobia for years now. But there's more. Algeria FC just tweeted a picture of somebody sipping a giant glass of tea, which is appropriate. HK47 posted an Elden Ring meme with Rowling's face saying, bigot annihilated. Will Meneker says, as someone who has been sued for a tweet, let me just say that deleting your posts in a panic is definitely the right thing to do and surely done under the advice of top flight legal counsel. Now, this person shared an old tweet from her asking, where's the bravado now? And as you can see, this is the infamous tweet from Rowling, where she claims that she would want to be a martyr for the transphobic movement, writing, I'd happily do two years if the alternative is compelled speech and forced denial of the reality of the importance of sex. Bring on the court case, I say. It'll be more fun than I've ever had on a red car. Now, this person just shared a picture of Imani Khalif with a gold medal. You love to see it. But again, just to reiterate, nobody really knows why she's deleting tweets or what tweets she deleted or why she hasn't been tweeting lately. A lot of us are making assumptions, but we really don't know. It could be copium from all of us. But I do want to say I do hope that she's deleting tweets and being silent because she's scared. And I hope that Imani Khalif's lawsuit is successful because there's nothing I'd love to see more than the most vicious bigot of our generation be publicly humbled. You know, she was a beloved children's author who turned into one of the most vicious transphobic bigots on the planet. She hates trans people so much that she decided to destroy her own legacy because of that hatred. I don't know if she's as scared of this lawsuit as we all hope she is, but I've got to admit, the thought of her finding out after fucking around is something that I'm going to hang on to for as long as I can. So I hope she's not tweeting because she's scared. I hope she's deleting tweets because she's scared. We don't know, but 
you know, at least for now, it's funny to maybe think of the prospect of her squirming because she is a very powerful, wealthy person and usually powerful, rich people. They can do and say whatever they want and get away with it. But perhaps there'll be some accountability, at least when it comes to the lawsuit. But we don't know how this is going to turn out. We don't know if this has rattled her as much as we want it to rattle her. But I mean, look, it's a nice thought, right? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights aren't human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay